But first, although the negative effects of too much sugar are widely known, there is currently no legal limit on the amount of sugar children can eat at school. SugarWise, a charity which certifies sugar content in foods, has started a scheme to certify schools and limit sugar consumption at school. Sally Biddulph reports on a school that's already signed up. So today we're going to be making cinnamon muffins. So they're going to come out looking like this and there's no added sugar in these muffins. So it's all very sugar wise today. A different kind of cooking class at Broadmead Primary School this morning. One where added sugar is off the menu. This is one of 600 schools which have signed up to a voluntary scheme to reduce the amount of sugar children eat at school. Levels of which can be high with jam and sugary cereals at breakfast clubs and traditional desserts after lunch. SugarWise found children may consume up to 10 times the daily recommended limit during a typical school day, with some consuming as much as 30 times the maximum recommended limit on days when treats are shared for birthdays and religious festivals. The government recommends five-year-olds have no more than the equivalent of five cubes of so-called free or added sugar a day, but there is no limit set for schools. What I'd like to happen now is for us to be connecting the dots. There's childhood obesity and there's excessive sugar consumption and we're talking about it every day. It's not fair for parents to be expecting to take all of the responsibility for this when some children are having as much as 10 times the recommended amount of sugar every day at school. Too much sugar is linked to a range of health problems including obesity and type 2 diabetes. Choosing less sugar is a life lesson the children are learning. It's better not to have too much sugar because sugar can rot your teeth. So your teeth get um, kind of like rotten um, and also it's very bad for your health as well. The SugarWise programme starts with one low sugar meal a week in schools and an education programme around healthy eating. It's being rolled out nationally and internationally over the course of this year. Sally Bidolf, ITV News.